Christian, Saturday's game, you're not going to play many like that. Um, emotions of both ends, I suppose, during that game. How was the, the team feeling afterwards? Yeah, obviously, it was a tough weekend. Um, when you're free one up, results going your way, cruising. And um, we slipped up, so um, obviously it's, it's extremely frustrating. The boys were... Everyone was devastated um, after the game because it was such a great opportunity. But we're still in the playoffs. We've done it with two games left, um, and I think we would have taken that to start of the season. So um, it's time to rebuild now. Got a big game Saturday against Exeter. It's important that we win that for a bit of momentum and uh, and then get ready for the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a great position to be in. Um, Automatics would have been nice, but it would have had to have taken six wins at the final six. We got four before Saturday, yeah. so it was always going to be a tall order, wasn't it? Even even against a side like Crew, who was so good at home as well. Yeah, um, well, we had a good go at it, didn't we? Yeah. We know what we had, uh, the gaffer told us what we had to do, and we had a good go. And um, when you score three goals away from home, you think, yeah, that's enough to get a result. But um, they played some great stuff, Crew, I thought. They're the best football side we've played this year. And um, it was a hard game. It really was a hard game. Conditions weren't great. and. Um, we just we just slipped up. One of those things. It, it happens, you know. We've just won four on the bounce, um, in a good position in the fifth game, and then standards probably dropped a little bit. So um, we know what we've done wrong, and um, we knew we know what we need to improve on. You said about momentum going into the playoffs. One of the form teams in League Two at the moment, so that has to be bode well, even with that result of the weekend. Yeah, absolutely, and I think it just pr proves what this cl club wants to do because everyone's got it because we didn't go up automatic, you know, and. Um, We've just got to regroup now, and uh, and we've got the playoffs. Um, it's anyone's in the playoffs, so um, that's what it's all about. Fourth playoff campaign in five years for the Forest Green. Yeah, that's some achievement in itself, isn't it? Yeah, that's really good, really good, and I suppose it's good for the fans as well because it's exciting and um, shows that the club is, is striving to to always go higher. So. Um, it's going to be an exciting couple of weeks ahead, yeah. The fans have experienced both ends of the playoffs, so the, the joy of going up, but yep. also the heartbreak of not making it through yourself. Yeah. You played a pivotal <laughs> role, you, you know the, the real joy of it. Yeah. Talk me through it, and how much can the playoffs really give you a boost? Yeah, well, it's a crazy couple of weeks, you know. It's so exciting, I can imagine all the fans as well. Every day they're just waking up thinking, oh my God, it's not long till the, the playoffs semi final. I'm waking up feeling yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, so. so it's like... <laughs> It's, it's really exciting, um, but it's just about 90 minutes of football, isn't it? So um, we've just got to do everything we can to, to get a positive result. Do you think your experience in, in coming through it will, will bode well for the squad who maybe hasn't got quite as much experience? People like Lloyd James, Derek Spears as well are going to be key. Yeah, I think it's massive. We've got a lot of experienced boys in, in the dressing room and um, a lot of them have been through it. A lot of them are lost as well, so um, they're not going to want to do that again. So, um, yeah. Obviously, I've, we, we won before, and obviously I was working under the manager, so um, I kind of know what, what kind of preparation-wise it's going to do, and it will put us in good stead for the for the games. Not going ahead of ourselves, though. Still got one game of the season left, Exeter at home this weekend. Haven't played them as many times as we did last season, yeah, right, but yeah. it could turn out this weekend that we could face them in the playoffs. Yeah. So how important is it to to set out your stall and, and make a mark there? Yeah, it's it's really important. You know, Exeter have got everything to play for, and uh, we have as well. Like, and um, it's good for us to, to get some momentum before the playoffs. Um, it's a great game for us as well. It's the last home game of the season. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a massive support there, so so it'll be a really good. Um, game to, to pick the three points up and put us in good stead for the playoffs. You'd rather be in your position though than, than Exeter's where they're still looking over their shoulder, they've got, they've got to get the points. To, of course, to make sure yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's nervy, you know, when you've got to pick up points, um, but obviously we've done it now so um, we can relax a little bit, but um, at the same time, I think momentum's massive for us and um, I'm sure the gaffer's not going to put his foot off the pedal to the, uh, this week in training, it's going to be as hard as it always is, so um, just looking forward to it. And you can still get fourth spot, so it means that you've still got something to play for because you can get a higher higher ranking, you can get that home game um, yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. Um, it's obviously, it's going to be really tough, some big sides in, 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 the, um, in the top seven, so um, it's going to be good. And it's the higher you get, it, it's, well, I can't even say it's going to be easier, but um, it, it helps, I think. Um, but you're going to have to play everyone anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter.
East Stand is already sold out for the game. Oh, that just shows what the kind of anticipation there is for it. Should be a nice weather as well. Is it nice to play in those kind of games? End of the season when you know you've still got something to play for. Yeah, big time. Um, it's going to be, hopefully it'll be rocking there. Last game of the season. Um, just celebrate after having a, a great year, you know, for the football club. Um, we had some good moments at the new lawn this year and um, hopefully Exeter can be another one. Going back to pre-season, if, if I'd said we'll sit here a week before the end of the season with the playoffs already secured, what have you said then? Oh yeah, you, you take that straight away, you know, and uh, I'm sure that all the fans would have as well. Um, just another exciting journey to, to be had. Um, you never know what's going to happen.